Hi guys, Football Manager, YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. Welcome back to our Buxton playthrough. Well, I say Buxton playthrough, um, unfortunately things took a little bit of a turn for the worse. So obviously in the last episode we had quite a cr well, couple of crushing defeats. And um, yeah, unfortunately our form didn't really continue. Um, you know, we just weren't able to win hardly any games at all, as you can see here in the background. The board basically gave me an ultimatum and they said that I had to basically win, a, win you know, a game or the next game that I was playing or, or I was going to get the sack. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that, so the board decided to boot me out. It's it's a little bit of a weird thing, so, so considering, you know, I took Buxton um, over when they only just got promoted to the Conference North. And obviously in the first season, we got to the playoff final. In the second season, when I actually got sacked, I think I was at about 8th or 10th position, I think it was. So, yeah, quite why they decided to sack me, I don't know, but... Yeah, unfortunately, we have been sacked. So, under the rules of the challenge, I do have to start with another team. So, as you may see with the thumbnail, um, yeah, for this particular episode, we have started again. And, yeah, we'll just have a real quick look at the Weymouth team now that I've started over with. So, yeah, as I just said, we have taken over as Weymouth. They were one of the teams got promoted into the conference self. And of course, what I needed to do was just um, yeah, holiday through the first season and then just take over any club that was promoted to the Conference North or South as part of this challenge. So, yeah, um, I think with this particular team, they're probably not as strong as Buxton in terms of the way that they're set up. Certainly so far in the league. So I've played um, 14 games and in this episode, we are going to play a game. But the results so far have been a little bit of a mixed bag, I must admit. Um, we have games where we do look really, really good. You can see some of the results here. So, yeah, we beat Gosport 4-0, uh, um, Concord Rangers 3-2, Margate 2-0. Had a few decent results, but then we've had some games, especially um, maybe against like Maidenhead. Um, quite a lot of our away games actually have a look at this. So, yeah, Western Supermare, we lost that 1-0 as well. It's just quite a few games where we just haven't particularly turned up, which is quite frustrating, to be honest, because, um, yeah, after playing with Buxton and doing pretty well with them in the first season, obviously getting to the playoff final, you know, I was obviously hoping to just sort of jump right back into the saddle and just get this team, you know, at least in the playoff position. So, obviously, we're we're not kind of a million miles away from the playoffs, but we, you know, we just don't seem to be able to get a run of, you know, run of form going, um, which is a little bit of a shame, but yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that quite soon. We'll have a look at the um, fixtures. So you can see here, um, yeah, like we kind of basically win or sort of draw a game, lose, win, like lose a couple. Then we go on a sort of half decent run, lose a game, win a game. Um, it's it's a complete mixed bag really, and, and it's it's quite strange because I really just don't know what team is going to be turning up. Um, yeah, when I select the team sheet, in terms of the squad itself, I I think I'm assembling some, you know, or managing to get some pretty decent players in into the team at least. So if we have a real quick look at the transfers, you can see here that I have actually managed to bring quite a few players in. Um, I've actually got Plymouth as a um, parent club and yeah managed to bring quite a few of their players in so really impressed with this guy Jake Miller um I mean unfortunately or fortunately he's a really good player for his age I think at 17 but the thing is like we're relying on a 17 year old to just try and you know make things happen for us and you know for someone who's 17 um average rating a 7.25 he's got six goals in 13 starts um so he's doing really really well for us but yeah, it's just unfortunate we're kind of relying on a 17-year-old. It's it's really, really not the sort of like best position to be in. Um, yeah, for a club that you're, you know, trying to get promoted. We've got some players in um, to the team who we're just trying to look to, you know, players that I, I'm really hoping that could do a job for us. Like, unfortunately, the, the club's not kind of in a position really to kind of bring too many good players in. So you can see, like... Nathan Modest has done quite well for us. He's got in six starts, five goals, three assists, um, seven point sixteen average rating. So he's doing he's doing okay for us so far. Um, I mean, obviously he's not like a world beat. You can see from his attributes that he's not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. But um, yeah, certainly he's you know he's he's, he's doing a job for us at the moment. Um, but that that's just really what's kind of happening at the moment. We we seem to just have players in the team that are like just doing a job for us at the moment you know no one's particularly standing out Um, you've obviously got like 
you know, Jake Miller, um, really, really doing well. Nathan Modest is doing quite well. This French dude's pretty good as well. Um, yeah, ball in a midfielder or a box-to-box midfielder. Um, he's not too bad, to be honest. He seems to be, you know, he's got quite good control of the ball and things like that for this level. So, yeah, seems to be doing okay. Jamie Lard has been fairly consistent as well. His um, mental attributes uh, don't look too bad, actually, for this level. And, um, so, yeah, quite happy to have him in the team we are going to be playing against St Albans today this is going to be a home game so yeah um in terms of kind of form it's it's really just all over the shop at the moment to be honest we've got some players that are just doing absolute crap at the moment um yeah Callum Hall he's a player from Plymouth he started off really well to be honest um yeah six assists but I think it's just all completely dried up recently um and unfortunately like yeah we're relying on like an 18 year old just to try and you know do anything for this club and it, it's just quite a difficult position to be in I think at the moment um you know we, we're relying on players like this guy here um and he's currently on a 6.42 form average rating for the last five games and yeah he's just not turning up at all um which is quite disappointing um so obviously I've got my scouts just sort of looking all over the place and they're you know I'm just getting them to try and get as many reports as they can get done but they're you know the players just don't seem to be around the uh, sort of any decent and I, I don't really think there's any players around that are sort of much of a, an improvement really and um yeah so we've got players like 19 year olds that are coming up as being the sort of best rated players for our team to sort of try and sign and you know I just don't think the kind of experience or the you know type of players that this club can you know try and attract basically is going to be sort of too good at the moment for us to you know hit the ground running so um, but yeah, that's where we are at the moment anyway. So yeah, we'll crack on with this game. You may notice a couple of players I'm just trying to, you know, sort of nurse into being match fit. We've um, been quite unlucky, unfortunately, with injuries. So yeah, Nathan Modest uh, did get an injury. Um, this guy, left back, has been sort of in and out of, in and out of form. Um, you know, yeah, it's been a real <laughs> mixed bag, to be honest, at the moment. So yeah, we'll go to the team selection. Um, I have actually picked the team already. So yeah, we'll... What we're going to do, we'll crack on with this game. And yeah, fingers crossed we can get a win in this episode anyway. Okay, yeah, so we're kicking off here. Um, we, uh, sorry, St. Albans are kicking off. We're, yeah, obviously in the claret and blue here. Um, yeah, fantastic. So first 18 seconds, it looks like St. Albans have a penalty. Look like our defender just kind of, yeah, tackled <laughs> one of their players um and yeah unfortunately we are one nil down here and it was a penalty to st albans their player just slotted it right into the corner of the net so unfortunately we do go one nil down here free kick to us uh, modest gets his head on the ball comes out to hall onto modest and um, out to hall again and looks like st albans going to clear that ball and webb just kicks it out for a throw in corner here for st albans and unfortunately they do make it two nil here so Really, really not doing too well. And this this was kind of what I was trying to highlight at the beginning of this um, episode. See, unfortunately, we're just kind of, you know, we're, we're really, really lacking in certain areas of the team, which makes it very, very difficult to just trying to get, you know, any kind of run of form going. Um, you know, when I was managing Bucks and it was pretty, um, I don't know, just kind of almost seemed quite easy, to be honest. Obviously, we did finish second with Buxton, um, you know, in the first season. And we were trying to just chase the team that was in first position. Um, but yeah, unfortunately with this particular team, it's just not going too well. Um, so yeah, we're obviously going to just, you know, we've got to just try something here. Um, probably just go a little bit more attacking, just sort of see if we can make anything happen in the second half. Um, obviously the, the most important thing I think when you're in this position or in this league is just to try and, that's got to be a penalty. Nope. Um, yeah, the most important thing when you're playing like lower league football is just trying to get a run of games going. And yes, it's quite difficult when you're sort of relying on like 17 year olds and um, and things like that. Obviously, the you know you can't expect their form to be good all of the time. And you know the the sort of players that you can attract, you can only sort of do so much with them, um, if you like. Um, so yeah, we we're kind of trying to boss the midfield around a little bit here, and just we're passing it around quite nicely. Hope you can get a good cross in here. And um, Modest does get on the end of that, so. It, he yeah we make it um 2-1 to be honest that was a really really good goal to be honest our um yeah 16 year old um in hunt crosses the ball to modest and on the volley makes it 2-1 so potentially a little bit of a lifeline but we'll see how we get on um next up we have so we might be able to break here um yeah another 16 year old um gets the ball over to hall ah oh, 
Un that was quite unlucky, to be honest. Yeah, we almost caught them on the counter attack. So free kick here to Weymouth, and we have made it two all. So yeah, fan like the like it said at the bottom, a fantastic fight back there, and um, yeah, modest gets on the end of the ball, and that's his eighth goal of the season. So we, you know, we have got some players that are doing pretty decent. So. Um, actually, his ninth goal of the season, sorry. Um, yeah, nine goals this season. So he's doing really well for us, um, which is obviously quite pleasing. Coming into the last 15 minutes here, I'm going to keep it on attacking. This probably might backfire. Fantastic save there from our goalkeeper. <sighs> Rubbish. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, we just gave away a penalty there, um, which they're probably going to score. So the guy's probably going to whack it straight into the corner again, I would imagine. Uh, which he does exactly the same corner um, where he scored his first goal. And unfortunately, we do. Yeah, so we've gone behind again now. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to go for, I don't know, put these guys on as fullbacks, I think. And we're just going to hit play button here. Um, I'll skip that penalty. Um, okay, so we're going to look for the overlap. And we're going to push up higher. Um, I'm just going to have to go for overload. Obviously, you know, it's just a little bit of a kind of shit or bust situation, I think, at this stage. Um, just have a look at the condition of the player. So he's absolutely shattered. I'm just going to look to bring on a substitute. And, yeah, we'll kind of just see if we can create any chances for the last maybe five minutes, probably a couple of minutes at a time, um, I'd imagine, at the end of this game. Um, so we have got a corner here, Miller. The ball has come out to Lard, over to Miller again. Lard, oh. yeah, unfortunately that's going to be the end of the game here. Um, yeah, so we did actually do quite well to pull it back to two all, but, you know, unfortunately we give away a really, really stupid penalty um, with about 10 minutes to go, and unfortunately, we, yeah, we've lost that game, which is, yeah, it's it's just been quite pretty much like that for most of this um, so far, so far. So we have got um, Weedleston in the next game. They're 17th at the moment. You know, we just need need to get a run of, you know, run of form going. We just, you know, I, I did almost think that we were going to kind of start hitting the ground running here. Um, you know, even though we did lose at Dover, we, you know, Margate we beat 2-0. Um, and a few teams, you know, we just got that run of form going in. And um, I think we did actually manage to push up to about 8th in the table. Um, yeah, we pushed up to 8th in the table and I was quite, you know, we were only about f maybe 6 points off the playoffs and we almost did it, but just couldn't really get that run of form going. So, yeah, um, I am going to call this the end of the episode, guys. Obviously, I'm just going to keep persevering with this and just see if I can, you know, try and just get some kind of form going with this team. Um, obviously, it's proving quite difficult at the moment, as you can imagine, um, these these challenges are actually really really tough, and you know the thing is, I'm with my particular um, obviously the part of the challenge you have to start as a Sunday league footballer as well, and you're not allowed to take any quali uh, coaching qualifications either. So you can see that my particular um, coaching and mental attributes are just absolutely diabolical as well, which really really does not help when you're trying to um, yeah kind of like motivate the players just to make sure that you're doing as well as possible so yeah we'll we'll just see how we get on but yeah thanks for watching this episode and um, yeah do leave your comments as well in the comments section and of course press the like button and of course subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to see the next videos when they're released thanks for watching